Okay, this video is going to cover how to install the E3D hotend for the MP Select Mini. And for me, this is a huge upgrade because my hotend actually kind of went bad. And luckily, I printed out the mount for the new hotend before it went bad. So they say that that should be one of the first things you print if you ever are going to upgrade your hotend. Which for me, I kind of had to. So make sure you print out that mount for the E3D hotend. And I'll actually attach the STL file if you need that. And if you have a working printer, uh, so the first step, you're going to obviously, um, you're going to take off these metal plates. And to do that, you have to take off the four screws in each corner on the bottom. And that'll get you to the six screws on the top and the bottom of the metal plates. So there's six on the bottom and there's six on the top and you have to take off those metal plates. And the reason for that is to get to this band. You have to, you have to loosen this band to get to the two screws in the um, the heat sink um, see the two uh, bolts in the back they just you have to take off the metal plates to get to the band and then you have to take off the spring that's on the band to make the uh, band looser and then if you pull back this back band there's going to be two bolts in the back of this black mount and you have to unscrew those and that will get your uh, That'll get your hot end out and your mount out. Um, so that, that part's a little tricky and that's why you have to take everything apart. So once you get that out, as you can see, this is the old one. Two red wires, two white wires, and then a fan, which is a black and white. Also, you're going to want to take out the feed tube uh, by loosening this nut and then twisting this off. And then you can just leave it in there or take it off. So once you have the hot end, the old hot end off, you're going to put the new one on. So you're going to put, there's going to be two bolts in the base of the mount. And you might have to use different bolts. Um, you might have to use longer ones um, to get all the way through. But you can put those back through and get this first mount on. And then I use two bolts right here to screw on this to hold on the, uh, the new the actual hot end. So that part's not too bad, it's just, again, the band is hard to get to um, and tighten back up. But once you get that off, you can get to the bolts in the back to originally take off the, uh, the hot end. So once you have the new, the new hot end on, you have to connect all the wires to the circuit board. So you put them back through this hole. Again, two whites, two reds, and your fan, which is a black and a white, down here through this hole. And then you're going to plug in all that to your circuit board. So the fan wires should come with a clip. So they just go up the front right here, the front corner. And then the white, the two white wires should come with also with the clip. They go in the back here. And then lastly, um, the two red wires, which go right here. I had to rig up because they didn't come with this white clip so I had to I had to rip that off of the old wires and then take my two new wires and solder two single wires and then put them in the clip so they had a good connection so you might have to rig that up a little bit uh, because they don't or at least mine didn't come with the white clip to make it easier so once you have everything uh, connected to the circuit board you're gonna put everything back together but um, I would check uh, turn on the printer and see if your extruder heats up. So mine did, so I put everything back together, put the metal plates back on, and actually on the bottom there's like more than four screws. Uh, I forgot because I had taken it off earlier. It was like ten or something, so put all those back. And then plug in your printer and turn it on and see if it uh, see if it's still working after you put everything together. And yeah, that's all. Um, hope that helped. Thanks for watching.